What up, y'all? Sweet, what to do? Welcome back to the We Feel, y'all. Welcome. Welcome to you. Welcome. Welcome to you, too. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to you, too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, it is 3 a.m., and we are up. And uh, we've been up for a little bit of a minute. And we were trying to figure out, I mean, well, we've been washing some stuff. And we kind of feel it. We was uncomfortable. Like, super hot and not able to rest and turn the air on and that didn't do it. And so now we just feel kind of restless and not really for sure what's going on. But you know, when we get restless, we just turn the camera on and get to recording and see if we can get the energy out. Because it's got something to do with something that needs to come out. So... We're going to do that and see what's going on. So if y'all want to stick around, stick around. It's going to be what it is, you know. It is what it is. It's going to be what it is. And uh, we're going to read it and see what's happening. Get it out and take our ass back to bed, I say. That's what that's going to be. So we drop some cards on the floor. We're going to get them. Hopefully we don't put y'all in a make it where they going to ban my video because you see the rest of my pajama jams and you know okay there ain't nothing in here I really need to reorganize my shelf I need to reorganize my shelf my space all of this I say I mean like I your girl got cards everywhere we do and it's just like oh we need to do something with this Maybe somebody feel like that too, like real disorganized and stuff is all over the place. And I feel like somebody emotions and their feelings is all over the place. Like they, life is all over the place. And we kind of been having a sentiment of that too. Like, um, maybe you're embarking on something or going, just going through a situation that have you kind of out of sorts. Facing a whole bunch of unknowns, facing um, unexpected challenges, really, basically. You know, it's like somebody who it just didn't turn out to be what it seemed. You know what I mean? Like it ended up being something totally different. You didn't expect it to be what it is. You know, and now it's like, okay, what do we do about it now that we're here? or that I'm here, what do I do about it kind of situation. That's just what I'm feeling right now, what's going through my head, um, what's speaking to me, where I, what I hear being said. Um, it's been a couple of songs that's, in, that's going around and around and repeat on my, in my mind. And uh, you know how you get songs stuck, and it's like you've been singing this song in your head, um, for like a week or so like I don't know how that happens to people but that's what's going on with me Whew, excuse me yeah challenges like I said that's when I felt like somebody was going through some challenges you know you might be uh, facing some stuff that you didn't ever really uh, expect we see the gift of, of sacred sight it could be you know to deepen your um intuition to kind of take you to another level in your intuition or something might be attacking your sight because you have a gift you know it could be spiritual warfare i saw that come out um uh that card combination of the temperance angel and uh the five of wands and it came out in a pulp to roll so we might get that out too and when i saw it um it hit me a different way i felt instantly felt spiritual battle sacred gift the gift of sacred sight somebody definitely is a unicorn and they definitely have a gift, a sacred sight. I feel like this person is a light worker. Um, 
and they may not necessarily uh, be aware of the type of spiritual battles that they are going through. Cast away. And that's what I was about to say. I feel like this person feels kind of isolated. You know what I mean? They're surrounded by somebody else, like a friend or a support a support person that's also gifted. Because you see the light is on this unicorn, you know. I feel like this other person may be a protector, somebody that you could go to and lean on. But I feel like... Um, I almost feel like you may not be reaching out to them. Like you're not using them. You're not, not using them, but you're not uh, communicating with this person to let them know what you're going through, that you're struggling with something, that you are in a spiritual fight, a spiritual battle. I feel like you are surrounded by people, other energies that are... Uh, a, a, a spiritual attacks. I see a rat here and a crab. And crab could be cancer. You could be a cancer. But I feel like there's a rat next to you. Somebody that doesn't mean you any good. They don't. It's either um, it's something with this. Okay, so this person here is this person right here. So you, this person definitely is is gifted, and they feel set aside. They feel um, abandoned, even though they have a confidant, they have a friend. But if somebody else is closer, that's a rat, and they may, maybe don't trust something with trust, where they feel uh, left out. Or that they can't reach out because they're not talking. It's what I feel. You see how that rat is closer to her than the crab? Like, um, what is the rat doing in the sea? Did she bring it with them? Did, how did, you know, they all end up there? Like the cancer, the crab, that to me makes sense because that's their environment, the water. Now, they usually don't float up towards the top. They are like at the bottom. But still, um, the fact that the rat and her are in the water and all of that turbulence and the emotion is something about that. Um, positive, uplifting friends. That's why I said it's two different friends here, two different people, two different folks that's close. One is a rat and the other one. Is true one and we've been speaking on that even if it's a love situation like romantic I feel the romantic romance angels my cards are kind of all over the place and I don't feel like digging but what I see is that there's an unrequited love or somebody that's really jealous and envious of you for some reason. I feel like this person will probably come back to you or try to get you back on some reconciliation. Or, or maybe uh, simply because they're jealous and they're envious. Maybe with somebody that you used to be with before that you turned your back on there. So, no. I do feel like it's a past person, though. Somebody that you turned your back on for some reason. Mm. A lost magic atonement. Somebody wanted to rebalance. We see some sort of expression. Maybe you're an artist in some sort of way. Oh, I see them. they right here. Thank you. What is this energy? You could be an artist. You could be somebody in music. You have a musical talent. And there's somebody. You can achieve great things, definitely. Rediscovering your, in, your individuality. But I feel this. 
you can achieve great things. I feel like you're an artist. You know, a new world is born. Like you're right at the beginning of a new cycle. You know, positive and uplifting new friends are coming in. Maybe that's what why the crab was coming in, but there was a rat already next to you. There's somebody close to you that you've turned your back on that's also gifted to you inspire trust and confidence. Siblings, younger friends, responsibility. Younger friends. There's somebody next to you. So one of the other friend, songs that's been kind of stuck in my head too, uh, it's been a couple of them, but two of them that's really dominant that I hear right now is I'm only human. Don't ask me for too much too fast. And it's been coming in variations like um, Remix and then also Usher and Lil John and Ludacris, Lovers and Friends. Tell me again. Tell me over and over and over again. Romantic feelings and release your ex is here. That's what I split out. It's something about that. You deserve love. And like I said, somebody felt abandoned, they feel left out, and there's somebody next to them, that rat person that may be making them have a, well, nobody can make you feel a kind of way. But I don't feel like this person is uh, uplifting. I don't. And maybe there's somebody coming in that, that is more uplifting. Healing family issues. We saw younger siblings, I mean siblings, family, and younger friends too. Maybe this is a situation where family is involved. I don't know. Wedding, calling in your soulmate. I feel like in one partner is coming in, but maybe you are mixed up with somebody else that you need to let go of. And maybe that person doesn't make you feel like you deserve love. You know, maybe you're having an issue with understanding that you deserve love and the type of support that the person that you're with. Maybe it's like a, um, you're with somebody that you used to be with or um, in the middle of either going back to an ex or allowing a new person to come in. Something of the sort like that. Maybe you with this ex because you feel like that's the best thing to do. You know, even if it's like really not feeding or supporting you. You know, maybe you feel like you deserve or you have to go through this situation for some reason. Um, I'm not for sure. Where is this deck of cards? It's right here. Separation. That's how I was feeling. Just, you're with somebody that you were separated from. Maybe children is a part of the issue. Maybe you're with this person because of kids. Your love life is being affected by children. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You may, and we saw release your ex. So maybe you're going to break up with somebody or you're really contemplating it, you're thinking about it, freeing yourself, what did I say? Freeing yourself from releasing your ex. You're really thinking about it because you've already turned your back to this person. It's something about communication, you guys are not talking. Um, you maybe don't even trust this person because they are being represented as a rat. I feel like this person could be gifted though. They could have some sort of um, intuitive knowingness and maybe that's why you're not talking because if you communicate then you feel like they're going to know the real. But you don't feel safe. It's something about your safety. 
your ability to open your heart to give love you don't feel like you can trust this person and there's somebody else that's coming in on the horizon somebody that is nourishing like that cancer type of energy but because cancer is represented by the crab um but i don't know if you are open to receiving them you're not new love what did i say somebody else is coming in i literally just said that and it could be a cancer energy, some another water sign, even if they're not a cancer. But I feel like they are a cancer with the crab. I'm, I'm getting heavy cancer vibes. But you have to free yourself first. We just said that you're going round and round and round and round and round in a circle with the old love. And uh, you haven't released it. Maybe you don't know that it's safe. Maybe you are with this person because, you know, sometimes it's not just trauma body, but like you Stockholm Syndrome shit, but it's like they, it could be children, the children, past life relationship, you know, you have known each other before. Is that the new love? No, that's the ex. Yeah, it's something that feels familiar with them. Like... It's a sense of safety because of the familiarity. This. Stay optimistic is here. Positive thinking will bring you romance. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. For one, you don't feel like it's safe. You don't. You may feel like you got what you got and that's what you're going to get. And you have children with this person, so you're going to stay. They also feel like, you know, somebody that you may have been with in a past life or you just been with them for a very long time. And uh, maybe you tried to leave before and y'all broken up before and now you're back together, but you're back together and you're still not happy. You're not happy. Codependency, what did I say? It's something going on with that. Codependency. Addictions, you know, and it could just be the sake that it feels familiar. And familiarity can feel safe, even if you're not happy, you know. You don't even feel safe in the sense to, to really express yourself with this person, to really communicate with them. You don't. But the new person could be the one. Could be the one and soulmate backed up. But you got to free yourself and know that it truly is safe to love. This past life relationship is codependent. And maybe it, like I said, fear of abandonment is you don't feel safe to love. You don't. You feel like, you know, everything is going to be turned out bad. And it could be like you're afraid to take the risk to leave something. It, maybe it's an issue, again, with the kids. Like, maybe if, you know, you leave this person, then they either going to hold the kid. If you a male, a masculine, I could feel that female energy trying to affect your children and the ability to see your kids and all that stuff. I mean, I know, personally know people who have gone through that. I've seen it in real time with just some ugly, nasty ass shit. I wouldn't give a fuck what's going on. It has nothing. As long as that person is a safe parent, they're a safe parent, then they should be able to see their kids. It ain't got shit to do with, you know, oh, you can't see your kid because you don't, they don't want to fuck with you type shit. Yeah, this person is a whole fucking rat, man, I'm telling you. That's just starting to piss me off a little bit at 3 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Here we go again. Here we go again. Y'all, what is up with that? Females need to stop that shit. That shit is retarded. It's disgusting. We always be talking about single parent households, but you willingly making yourself a fucking single parent because the dude don't want to be with you. You can codependent. I'm mean, codependent. You can co-parent. Because your ass is codependent, so you will use a child to keep somebody around, which is bullshit. But uh, this other person, soulmate, is being called in despite the de deception that they facing. We say keep an open mind. Stay optimistic. Stay trusting all at the same time. And that's hard to do when you're dealing with somebody like that. I don't know if that's for everybody. It's not. But I know that some people go through that. And with children being a, fa uh, a factor of this relationship, again, it's making me feel like somebody's staying together for the kids. You know? 
I hear for the good times. Maybe um, they feel like they need to work it out because of the whole totality of the situation. That could be, you know, kids involved. We built some stuff. We're going to see if we can salvage the relationship. But this person is not happy. Religious factors could be a thing. Look, religion and children. We're going to try to salvage it. We're going to try to see what we can do to work it out. But this person is not happy. Maybe their religion doesn't... Uh, it's kind of telling them, you need to be with this person. You need to try to work it out with them. You know, the most high says, you know, values family and marriage and all of this stuff. Maybe it's telling you that you can't get divorced kind of thing. Or you can't break up if you're not married, you know. New love, though, is here. New love is calling. It's calling your name. And you need to understand that it is safe for you to love. I feel like this person is staying in a relationship that they just not happy in for the sake of the kids. Or because some sort of outside um, religious sect telling them they need to be in something. You need to do the responsible thing. You need to, you know, like, you know whatever the fuck ever. But something is going to happen soon. Something is going to happen soon. A change is coming. Because they definitely are developing romantic feelings for somebody. Yeah, for something or somebody else. There's another love. Again, romantic feelings, cancer, energy, nurturing, loving, supportive. You know, they may even love your kids and, you know, want to just, you know, like that's not a factor for them. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You know what I'm saying? Somebody definitely has some real feelings and they want to explore them. And I think like the only reason why this person is not going towards it is because of the kids and because of religious factors. I don't know if y'all have a different belief system. No, it's just the fact that your belief system that you should be with your baby mama or your baby daddy or something like that. You know, maybe again... Maybe you need, children are definitely a part of the equation. Children is definitely a part of the issue. And it's something about people being close to you. Maybe you need to talk to somebody else that's close to you that you trust in order to kind of get your head wrapped around the situation, you know, and figure out what it is that you need to do. Because I don't feel like nobody should sign themselves up for a 20-year bid or a 10, 18-year bid because y'all have children. Because somebody that you with is deceptive. It's, a, it, it's, it's, it's not good. They wearing a mask. Somewhere is wearing a false mask in this relationship. This person is not real. Then I said they was a rat. You sitting right next to a rat. You in the shit, in the flow, in up, up shit's creek without a paddle. That's a fucking rat. A fucking rat. Anything else in here? But there's somebody you calling in your soulmate. And this person could definitely be the one. They could be the one. Maybe you flirting with this person already. Maybe you feel a certain kind of way because, you know, you in this relationship and you're like, I'm really not supposed to be feeling this. I can't fuck around with them because I need to free myself type shit. But look, retreat. Maybe y'all going to separate. We saw that. It's time to disconnect. But this shit say disconnect from the world. I say disconnect from this cycle. To leave that shit behind. Don't figure out how to do it responsibly though. So that y'all can co-parent and take care of their children. Take care of their babies. And if this person don't want to do that amicably. And they want to try to keep your kids from you. Use the legal system. Even if you feel like you ain't got resources. It's the self-help. Self-help. Uh center that's at the court every courthouse has a self-help uh where they can go to like the family law division and you can get help with doing your documents again forgiving and learning forgive yourself but learn through this situation you don't have to sit in a situation that's just bad and with somebody that's false and fake because y'all have kids you know you could take back your power this could be the one. 
this new person, you're gonna you can miss your opportunity, the love of a lifetime. Because you're dealing with a fake ass person. But you gotta free yourself. You need to love yourself first and get past these religious factors and the fact that y'all have been together for a while. The spirit and the cards is calling for separation. You already attracted to somebody, you flirting with them, you getting to know each other. But okay, still paying attention to their red flags too. Or just the red flags that's in this relationship, cause somebody is definitely false and fake as fuck. They are. You might fuck around and marry this person under uh, false pretenses. Or if you already married, you married to somebody that's fake and false. They could be cheating on you. They could be doing misusing you, abusing you, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse. All because y'all got kids and they and religious factors. They feel like you're not going to leave them. Do they feel like they're going to leave? They think that you're not going to leave. They, it, it's something in the community. High honor. Yeah, this is a masculine that um, is probably hard working. You know, we see service to the community. We see um, marriage. Maybe you trying to do the right thing, stand up thing, be a whole stand up guy. And you with somebody that's just fake as shit. Spirit say end it. You need to end it so that you can get to the real love or you're going to kill your opportunity to have real love. Maybe you denied real love or no, it's not. It's coming towards you. But yeah, it's a gift, a gift, an opportunity of love. And somebody has an expectation. They don't, they expect you to stay. They expect you to take their shit. They don't expect you to love yourself for sure first. They don't. They expect you to put, to sacrifice yourself and put their needs or family needs over everything else. And it's not saying that to not take care of your family. That's not what I'm saying. But... Yeah, because you're concerned. You're having some concern and thoughts. You're thinking about somebody else. Is somebody else in your mind and your vision? Is somebody that you already ran across? But you got to free yourself first. You don't have to sign yourself up for a whole fucking being or stay in prison a uh, relationship prison with some fucked up ass person, a distorted nasty ass fucking feminine that will use your kid against you to keep you trapped in a relationship that you don't want to fucking be in. It's definitely making you feel a kind of way. That's for fucking show. You know what I mean? Because again, I feel like you were a stand up guy. Like you somebody that works hard. And were you definitely thinking about going on that long ride? Yeah. I see wealth and I see house. You could be somebody that got money or, um, well, you're looking for a pathway to get the fuck up out that bitch with some money or some of your money. But wealth is not just about money. It could just be mental health. It could be peace. It could be calm. It could be, you know. Somebody that you could trust or you feel connected. Not like you next to a rat. Somebody that you can't even fucking talk to. You know, a thief. Like I said, somebody is deceptive. Change is still change here. This person is robbing you. Robbing you of your mental... That's uh, why I said peace. You know, it's almost like emotional and mental abuse. Like, uh, yeah, sudden wealth is this gift of new stability. We see adjudication here against this female. Like I said, you can go to court and get your time with your kid. You can go to court and let them know what your support plan is. You can go to court and even if you don't have money, you can get help with the family law facilitator to do your documents. It's a pathway, bro. It is. It's a way. But if you don't take it and you signing yourself up for a bit to sit in a situation where, you know, maybe because you don't want her to take your kids away. We saw fear of abandonment. This, this one. 
yeah, fortune. There's a way for you to keep, you know, what's important to you. And I don't, again, I don't feel like fortune is money. I feel like it is the resolution. It is the outcome. It is like a fortunate to have you, girl. I just want what you in my world. And I hear, bless the day that I found you. Yeah. Somebody gonna have to go to court though, so that they can sit, you know, square away the situation with the kids. That way they have their children and timeshare and the opportunity to have good love and communication and relationship at the same time. I really adore you. This is somebody, yeah, cause somebody feel like they're in a relationship prison. Like I said, you see this damn rat? This person got you wrapped up and just like they want to see you in jail and they would rather come and sit there and, and you know, watch you be in this fucking prison than to see y'all go off and be happy. They robbing you of your happiness, of your abundance, of your gift. They robbing you of a sense of stability, of, of where, you know, like I said, abandonment issues. But there is a way for you to change all that by taking back your power through paperwork, you can change all of that and actually love yourself, come together with you so that you can get to your real thing, the person that's real. Because right now, you just sitting here in despair, like I can't even fucking talk to this person. I can't even talk to this person. That shit got me pissed off. You trying to get some... Somebody that's kind and nourishing and, you know, emotionally connected and all of that, willing to give out that emotion to you. And um, they want to expect unexpectedly pour into you, pour into you what you haven't been receiving from this fake ass person. But you got to pour that shit into yourself first. You got to love yourself first and love yourself enough to free yourself from this bullshit. Because uh, this person that you with don't expect that you will ever fucking leave. You actually leave this person behind and, and love on you. Get to hell and get to good so you can nourish and have a healthy relationship with the new person. Shit, they going to be looking at you like what? And they going to be pissed, which is why you're going to have to go to court and get your, uh, going to have to go to court. Learn. Learn how to protect yourself. Forgive yourself. Learn your lesson. Do what you need to do so that you can have your kids in your life too. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You're going to have to love yourself. You ain't going to have to do a fuck shit thing. You can do what you want to do. You want to sit your ass in there for another motherfucking 15 years or some shit like that. Your kid, two, three years old, and you want to uh, be with your kid. And now you're going to sign yourself up for a 15-year bid, being in prison, in a fucked up ass relationship with a false ass person that could be doing whatever because they don't think that you will ever fucking leave because you value your relationship with the child and your religious principles and disciplines so therefore they feel like they got you over a barrel that they could do whatever the fuck they want to do to you and how they want to do it and you ain't gonna do shit about it keep an open mind there's definitely a way for you to get the fuck out this shit and the person that's coming into you might be different. But I feel like you like that different. It's somebody that you already done kind of got your eye on. You, y'all been flirting. Y'all been kind of talking because they close in proximity. But you're not really letting them in because you got that rat right the fuck next to you. I see a twist in the tail. The unexpected change you did not see coming. It's an unexpected change that you did not see coming. Keep an open mind. Again, the advice is this. To release the, this person. Anything else, beloved? Anything to close with? Yes. This. 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 I have to make sure most I got Alpha Omega because we didn't really pray. We just started pulling 
talking about the energy and then pulling. So make sure that we're talking to the right person. I definitely feel somebody is battling with this in a spirit because I still see the temperance angel. This. I still feel the temperance angel and I still feel that five of wands. Like a spiritual battle. Like it's it's hitting you in the spirit because it's your religious discipline, your principles, your morals, and your values. You want to be a good parent. You want to, I feel a father. I feel this being a masculine energy. And I feel like um, your heart and your sentiment is 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 uh it's almost like you you being pulled to stay in the situation because your heart and your sentiment has you attached to uh not just that person but you you are attached to them and again I felt that twinge of sense of codependency because they feel familiar to you. You almost have become accustomed to the mental conflict, the emotional conflict, the, um, it's something with sex too. I don't know if it's just really good sex or if it's just familiar and you don't like to sleep around. They don't like to sleep around. Um, you don't just give yourself to anybody. I do feel like somebody has very high standards and morals and ethics and values where they they're 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 not going to let somebody else get in close to them in that way, even if you are flirting with this person. I don't feel like you've done anything with them. Like, you, 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 you value who you lay with. Like, your heart and your emotion is something with that. You not just know, I'm going to sleep around and just sling my schlick all over the place type person. You're not that. You're not that. You you actually have an attachment to a sentiment for the people that you lay with. You are a projection of love. Love the earth, love the air, love the water, love the fire. I feel like you definitely are a loving person. I had I felt two people who are gifted. You hit you hooked up with somebody else that's gifted as well. But I don't I don't feel like they work in a light though. Of course, deception and false person and all that stuff. That person is like they manipulative and they I think they uh they are right. They're not trustworthy, you know what I mean? Something is what it is only because of what it's not. And it's flew out in reverse, upside down. It is what it is only because of what it's not. You know, that means to me, like, again, I'm seeing the pathway card. Like, there is a way for you to come out of this. Again, you are a projection of love. Love the earth, love the air, love the water, love the fire. I feel like earth angel type of energy. You know, somebody that uh, who is here to come to teach about love. And you have love for everything, I feel. Or, or um, just a very giving and loving heart. Which is something... That is not rare, but it is in this day and age, in this modern time, for a masculine to have such a high level of of a uh, uh, love frequency and vibration of empathy and sympathy and compassion and understanding in that way. And I feel like this person that you are attached to takes advantage of that. They manipulate that. They press on that. They play on that. And, and the fact that you want to remain close to your children and you would sacrifice yourself and your own well-being, uh, speaks to that and you would stay in it in order to uh remain maintain those relationships this person is also deceptive and i feel somebody that's malicious they may even be cheating on you and of course i feel that mental abuse like them talking to you all kind of ways all out the side of their fucking neck and 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 they using the kids against you like if you leave then you're not gonna be able to see your kiddo so they got you trapped and imprisoned in a fucked up state and you don't want to leave because not only do they feel familiar Y'all probably been together for a long time. The kids is in it and your morals and values as well. 
the spirit is saying you are a projection of love and but you gotta love yourself first love yourself first to teach love as an earth angel, you you have to master how to love, how to receive love. Love is actions. It's not is light on a voluntary escape. That's love. We are moving through the plane to learn um, about self, you know. And as we learn about self, then we are able to teach others. But if you're not learning about you, then you can't give that out. If you're not loving on you, then how do you love on another person? person truly I am not the mind intellect or body I am not married or demerit I am the pure self get in touch with your highest self your pure self is there something else in here most high God there's anything it just felt a lot of energy yeah fall in love with yourself again I was feeling energy something here Fall in love with yourself again to bring love, bring in the love of your life. And I literally said that. Fall in love with yourself again to bring in the love of your life. You have to love yourself first. Reconcile with you. Forgive you. Learn whatever this lesson is and move on. Learn what you need to know to Keep your children, your babies close. Protect yourself and your heart. And you're going to receive new love come in. Yeah, I can't pull it. I just keep seeing that temperance card and the five of wands. And I was curious to see if it was going to come out. But I could see it. I know that somebody is in a spiritual battle. Because they sitting right next to a rat. And they weighing the pros and cons. They juggling the situation. Trying to figure out how are they going to make this work. How are they going to be able to carry this forward. And the weight I feel like is weighing you down. It's depressing you. You feel very heavy and imprisoned and trapped in this situation situation and despair you know like you sitting in a prison of despair because a person I feel this tug of war for sure battling tug of war iced out in the cold type of energy again out to sea feeling abandoned you out to sea and you out there with a rat but there's somebody coming in, again, somebody that's nurturing, loving, that wants to come in. Yeah. Somebody is definite. Look, this the female energy is in reverse, upside down, and look at the male. And we see them being a teacher. Standing at a chalkboard, I feel. But there's nothing written on it. They got their briefcase, they be ready to go. They know it's time to go, but they haven't left yet. And we see success behind there and somebody with a bag of seeds, sowing seeds. Triumphant and success is there. I feel like you were triumphant over the person, that negative female that's in reverse. Yeah, but right now you just probably doing this. You could be in despair. You know, you may be drinking or medicating yourself in some sort of way. Even if it ain't just alcohol, it's something else that you kind of using to mask the pain, to numb it, to numb yourself. Yeah. This position is in reverse. Mm -hmm. The energy of it is going away. The chemistry, there's no chemistry. Well, maybe there is chemistry, but it's something about the energy of the situation that's depleting. Somebody's not putting any energy. They're not. Yeah. And um, like I said, crystal ball, somebody's gifted. 
Somebody is gifted. And again, children is the factor. That's the thing. Children. Health is here. I feel like uh, something with, it could be medical. The person that you would could be in the medical industry or again, it could just be the mental health, the codependency issues. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, mental, like the attachments. It's something that is attached to you. Or it could be making you physically sick. You know, stress has a hell of a thing on the body and it can make you sick. You know, especially if you're doing stuff to mask the despair and the pain, um, that can have a factor on your body, but stress itself has a factor. But I feel somebody is mentally affected. Their mental health, their emotional health is affected. I feel despair. I feel dis depression. I feel um, anxiety or uh, that fear of abandonment. You know what I mean? The worry, the constant worrying about the connection. I feel like this person may be crying. They may, again, like all of this stuff in secret because you don't want to, you can't talk to this person. But you may have a friend or somebody that you can confide in and maybe y'all kind of do a little talking on the side. Um, try to release it, vent it a little bit. And maybe this person is caring and nurturing and it's somebody that you kind of flirt with a little bit. But you wouldn't take it anywhere because you stuck in this prison. And I think this person, you know, I don't know if they would be open to you coming in now. They probably would. But I feel like you need to, you know, I can't tell you to do a fuck shit thing, but it would be behoove you to heal first, to release this, work through the process of securing your relationship with your children and, uh, healing yourself and then kind of develop that relationship maybe you could be developing the friendship along the way and things will come in together at the same time pray pray and and visualize success like see the end result um that you want having that proper share time you know for your kiddos for your babies and all of that that everything is going to work out know that it's going to work out but the spirit say it's time for you to get away from all this chaos and conflict it's time for you to go away from that you know, see, kiddos seeing y'all go through that is not a good thing. And oftentimes, we people feel like they should stay in relationships for the kids, whether it's good or bad. But they end up doing more harm to the children because you're teaching them um, those type of behavioral patterns and relationship patterns. It ends up being a generational curse that they are times to break if they have the fortitude and the stamina to break it and not repeat it and stay in a situation that's not good for them. The better thing to do is to model how to leave responsibly, to model taking your power back and to making sure that you are co-parenting and that you uh, maintain your contacts even though that y'all not in the same household. You know, that is a, a, a principle. Like your commitment to them has not changed. You still dad. You still mom. So it flip it flop it whichever situation. I mean the way it goes. But I feel like this is a masculine that is concerned that they they child is gonna be taken care of, and so they stay in it. And you think you're round and around and around and around and around and ruminating. Like again, I feel like even in this relationship, y'all done been through this a time or two before, and maybe that's why you know that they would hold your kids back because maybe they've done it before, you know, and they are expecting you to stay in a situation because you came back and you keep staying. But it's time out for that shit. It's time out. Maybe the most I said it's time for us to go back to bed. We done. All right. Yeah. Get things lined up by the book and do it the right way. Because right now, somebody definitely feel left out. 
abandonment issues, right? You, maybe you need to get some counseling and seek help to help strengthen you spiritually because I feel like somebody's been under spiritual attack and attacks in various different ways so long that they've been beaten down into despair, tucked into that mental prison, a uh, uh, relationship prison that they are locked in this. But there is a way for them to get out. It is. Just take your time and think. There is a way for you to get out. It is. There's always a solution. Always, always, always a solution. To the next now, this is your girl Lati here at Tears and Retro Show. We show enough, never know what you're going to get. This is a 3 a.m. reading. It's probably full now because we've been on this for about an hour 50, 32, 33, 34, 35 on the phone. <sighs> Take care of yourself. Take care of your kiddos. Do what you need to do for your mental health, your mental stability, so that you can be there for them fully. We, I love you just like I love me because I love the Alpha and the Omega. It gave me my calling and the decree. Put this word inside of a G and at breath, the Holy G. Whew. Animating this life, uh, the God body. I saw it. The card is sitting right here. It's a couple down now. Maybe, you know, your ability to breathe has just been, you know, it's not mindful. You know, it's just kind of lackadaisical, you know. But meditate, you know, and let your spirit speak to you. Will it have you sit in a sunken place on principles that are harming you? I don't think so. I think there is another way, and uh, you can do that um, and keep your morality, keep your values, do the right thing for your children, and love on yourself, and receive love too, because like the card said, you deserve love. You really, really do. 5205 to the next now. Ashe. Mm.